Welcome back to Medicine Deconstructed. I'm your host, Dr. Jay Rutland. Today, we're going to talk about, surprise, the immune system. But we're going to talk about tricking your immune system to fight cancer. We all know how the immune system works. It doesn't just fight infections. It's also supposed to fight cancer. I'm going to tell you how cancer cells tell the immune system to shut up, and I'm going to teach you today how to turn it back on. Thanks for joining me. Spend a lot of time talking about the immune system and I'm going to continue to talk about it because that's what I love to do. In the 19th century, there's an orthopedic surgeon by the name of William Coley. William Coley operated on a lot of sarcomas. Sarcomas are cancer of like the bone and the muscle, okay? And those cancers are really nasty because they can spread everywhere all over your body. After he would operate, you're cutting the skin open, it's open to the air, it's open to the environment, and it's how you can get infections. He actually noticed that the patients who developed a wound infection after his operation, sometimes their cancer is just spontaneously resolved. He thought long and hard about that. He said to himself, wait a second, I must be activating the inflammatory response because when you cut anything open or anything on your body, just like when you guys get injured and cut yourself, you can see the redness around that cut. That's the inflammatory response. The immune system now knows that something's going on. Perhaps that's what he was alerting. The immune system cells, the cells recognized the cancer, noticed it was there and got rid of it. So he created a toxin called Coley's toxin, which was full of bacteria. He would give it to these patients. Sometimes their cancers would resolve and be gone. That stimulated an entire movement of immunotherapy. You guys hear this word being tossed around, immunotherapy this, immunotherapy that. What does it actually mean? Well, what it means is you're manipulating the immune system to allow it to recognize bad cells. That way, when it recognizes those bad cells, it gets rid of it. What we're going to talk about is we're talking about tricking your own immune system to fight cancer. Because this can happen. What we know in terms of activity of white blood cells is we know that T cells are of the utmost importance. T cells are very specific. They recognize certain receptors. Remember, a receptor is any flag that's on the outside of the cell membrane, right? You recognize the flag, you go over there. So whenever you had a cancer around, the flags would be at half mass. So the T cell doesn't recognize it, can't see the flag very well. Cancer survives and lives on. We discovered how to put the flags at full mass all the way out so that they can be activated again. So these T cells can recognize that the cells have cancer and that they can go and destroy the cancer. Now, what do we do? We simply just turn that back on with certain immunotherapies and certain medicines. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is by engineering specific cells to recognize what cancer looks like. Is it a vaccine? Kind of, not really. But what you're doing is you're looking at a cancer cell, you know what receptors are on a cancer cell, and then you're engineering a T cell that's going to recognize some of those receptors. And it's going to be able to travel over to that cell and destroy it. We've also taken tumors, biopsied them, and put them in a dish with the immune system to almost create a vaccine, allowing the T cells to recognize what is going on and creating certain molecules that will allow it to recognize cancer when you put these cells back in their body. None of these procedures are 100%. None of them work every time. But I want you guys to know that there is an association with immunodeficiency and cancer. If your immune system is abnormal in any way, shape, or form, it doesn't recognize this or it doesn't recognize that, it's possible that your risk of cancer has gone up. 
So we have to discover ways to manipulate the immune system to allow it to re-recognize what isn't supposed to be there. This is the whole basis of immunotherapy. Thanks for joining Medicine Deconstructed. I hope you learned how the immune system can fight cancer. I think it's an important concept to understand as we advance through the ways of understanding cellular communication. Next week, we're gonna have another video. Remember, we're just here trying to arm you with information and every week, we're just supplying you with that ammunition. Thanks for joining, hit that subscribe button. Nick would be mad if I didn't tell you that and I'll see you next time.